Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? So I am going to show you how to win the battle of inflation and lower your cable bill by switching to YouTube TV. Stay tuned. I'll tell you all about it, the pros and the cons, and how much money you save. Here we go. Here is how you sign up for YouTube TV. You do need a smart TV. That's one of the only drawbacks. So within your smart TV, if you have the YouTube app, you log in and you go down to YouTube TV at the bottom should you not have the individual YouTube TV app. And you could go ahead and sign in that way through member sign in. If you do have the YouTube TV app on, your smart TV, just click on the UTV, YouTube TV app. Go ahead and log in. I find it easiest to just get your own computer and uh, type in tv.youtube.com backslash start with that access code. There you go, all ready to go, all signed up. One of the major advantages of switching to YouTube TV is you no longer need cable boxes. You don't have to pay for cable boxes anymore. That's how you get a lot of the savings. This as long as you have a smart TV and you could have several smart TVs in your house and run all the cable through all those TVs. And it's the same channels that you get off of any other cable company. So you can just see here, I've got Sports Center. I got our local news station on right there at the next step. All the same channels for a cheaper cost. Totally amazing. In the summertime, I run a TV outside, so sitting by the pool or out here on the deck, we run a TV, and I have not, have not been able to get cable out here because uh, you would have to run an HDMI cord or pay for an extra cable box. So um, now with YouTube TV, you simply you know, just put on the TV, load the YouTube app, and now you get football games, anything you want uh, out here where I didn't have that before. So again, another huge advantage. Let's go over the savings to switching to YouTube TV from Verizon. So, right now I have three cable boxes in my house at $10 a box, so that's $30. YouTube TV does not require any cable boxes, so it's $30 savings right there. Just went in on my Verizon bill. These are the hidden fees and taxes that Verizon charges you $22 per month. No hidden fees on YouTube. The cable is basically a wash, so I'm currently paying $64 a month from Verizon. And under YouTube, it's $65 per month. So that come, equates to $54 per month savings. So let's say you just go ahead and switch over. In nine months of $54 a month savings, that's a $500 new smart TV that you could buy just by having you know, the, the guts to go ahead and switch over to YouTube TV. So let me summarize the negatives or the cons or the things you need to think about before you switch to YouTube TV. Again, you have to have newer smart TVs in order to run YouTube TV and get the app on the TV. With that, you have to have high speed internet, preferably 5G. And the only other thing I could think of is uh, YouTube TV is tied to your Google account. So um, and there, with family sharing, you could run six different people could run off of one plan, and the the same family member owner needs to be the owner on your Google account. That is the same with the YouTube TV account. So my wife is the owner of our regular Google account. She needs to be the owner and the payer of the YouTube TV account. I cannot have a separate uh, account, and then us share services amongst the TVs. It needs to be a single owner. Uh, for both services. So what we're doing is just, hey, I'm running my credit card number under her account in order to pay for the YouTube uh, TV account. All right, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button for me. So again, so many advantages of switching to YouTube TV. Highly recommend to you. If you have any uh, questions, feel free to put it in the comments section. I'll get uh, right back out to you. So all right, there we go. Have a good one.